Hey guys, how's it going? Today I've got Mark's awesome little mini JCW GP2, I believe that's the full name for it. Except his one is a very special, highly customized car. Now I'm gonna do a whole separate video after this one of exactly what he's done to this already extraordinary and very rare high performance hot hatch. It's very interesting, he's done plenty of stuff. But yeah, for now, we're just gonna take this out for a bit of a rally drive and see what it's all about. Uh, basic things is it's got an amazing short shift um, device down here, so beautiful, easy gearbox. The gearbox and the standard are, are incredible, um, but that's, that's a major upgrade. He's also got a really nice set of lightweight wheels on here. Uh, the power output's up from 220 to 270 odd bhp and the torque's sort of a similar gain. So yeah, we've got more output from the engine. We've got very trick suspension. Again, I'll go over that in my other video with him because I really couldn't even tell you what it is. Uh, but very trick, it's lowered, you know, the canvas and stuff. It's, it looks more like a sort of mini challenge cup car than it does a mini road car if you like so it's properly trick really really trick and uh yeah the ride's pretty hard with the gp we've got the two seats in the front proper buckets got nothing behind except a sort of torsion or, or a strengthening bar between the uh, two rear wheels and then a nice big open boot with a bag in there that's hopefully not going to fly around too much but yeah, so super stiff. There's not much sound deadening in here, as you can probably hear the sort of tire noise and the bumps from, from outside. One of the sound out features of this car is it's actually been set up, Mark's had it set up so that when an 80 kilo driver is sitting in the driver's seat, like I am, I'm, okay, maybe I'm 95, 100 kilos, the car has an equal amount of weight on each wheel. So basically it's, again, very like a race car would be you know you'd have fuel tank over to the right or whatever you put any weight you can on the other side so that it equals it out so the car feels very neutral everywhere and uh, yeah and that's about it really we're very low to the ground there's not much suspension travel the suspension works very well but i've already bottomed it out just with mark in the car but he said just him getting out is going to make that much better so once we start pushing on uh, we can we can experiment with that i've got uh, he's got an external oil gauge in fact it tells you everything like the boost pressure and all sorts down here i've got lots going on shift lights everything and uh, now i can see that the car is is up to good temperature so we can start giving it a little bit of uh, abuse now i'm just around the soho farmhouse in oxfordshire the roads are amazing as in they're scenic they're great sort of rally roads but they're very bumpy and there's some huge potholes around here so i do need to be careful um, but yeah, I guess the next thing to do is sort of, let's just push on a bit. So yeah, okay. I'm feeling a bit of torque steer there. Now the other thing, unfortunately, that I'm having a bit of an issue with in this car, and I don't know if it's because of the buckets and the slightly odd driving position, um, or not drop, no, it's a good driving position, but it's slightly different to what I'm used to. I can't seem to do heel and toe very well. So I might just, give that a miss otherwise and focus on uh, keeping the car on the road <laughs> but yeah oh, it's a riot it really is <laughs> gotta watch out for uh, a lot of things around here obviously right down here the turning is Oh, massive. 
massive, they're really not. But the adrenaline and the fun levels are huge. It's just all oh, pheasant. Oh, good, good pheasant stayed there. Oh, 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 oh. Brilliant little car. That pheasant's right in the middle of the road to be able to hit him. Uh, whatever it is. Now this particular engine in the sort of John Cooper works etc apparently has a few sort of piston issues and oil issues which we talk about in the next video a bit more so uh, yeah it's a good thing that I've got an oil temperature gauge there keep an eye on it if it starts racing through the roof and we know something's wrong but again you keep the sort of oil fresh in these things and keep an eye on things like temperature and stuff and apparently they're, they're actually not too bad. Really. I mean, I've driven a few standard Cooper S's. Uh, let's spin around here. I've, I've driven a few standard Cooper S's and I've driven a few uh, of the John Cooper Works, both this second generation and the very latest. Um, the very latest John Cooper Works didn't blow me away. <clears throat> it's almost grown up too much to, and it's taken a bit of the fun away and I find it quite understeery as well. I've talked about this before, but that's with the standard wheels on. I've also driven the Challenge something or other, the limited number one, which was incredible. I drove that Goodwood briefly and that was that was another level. That's the nicest of the new gen minis that I've driven. But this, this generation, the second gen minis uh, of the new version, uh, I think they're called the R56s if I'm not wrong. They are, you know, they're, they're the sweet spot. They're also the best looking, I think. You know, they've got the short bonnet, they haven't got the crazy sort of overhang. But, and the brakes, most importantly. So, we've got good handling here, moves around a bit, but the brakes, the brakes are just incredible. Massive six pot calipers on the front. You know, bigger calipers than, than are on my M135. And in fact, more pistons and more power than even in the M2, so plenty of stopping power in this thing. Going through a farm here. I do drive, I, you know, I, I drive spiritedly when I can, but there's certain things you've got to watch out for, even when it's quiet like it is today on a Sunday. Farm machinery, kids, animals. When you can see miles in front, then, you know, you can give it a little bit, have a bit of fun, but I'm very respectful especially 30 mile an hour limits, 20 mile an hour limits, those sort of things in town, never speed there. You know, that's when you're, that's when you're gonna kill or harm someone. Mr. Pheasant, oh, he almost stepped out in front of me. Right, so propping the floor in just a second. Rear flight's going up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> on gives me a bit heavier steering like it does in all BMs and minis which I think is just too heavy always but better thought response a bit more slip I think so let's put that up here. such a nice little short gearbox now the standard one with before you put this short shifter in is brilliant like my buddy Will has one in his John Cooper works of a similar era and that is fantastic but this having a short shifter it's just so close to the wheel you know it's like change down and the wheel and on the gearbox yeah this thing's a riot this thing is an absolute riot right this is a good little section coming up now it's a bit 
bit of dirt on the road, so we're not getting full traction. There's joggers and cyclists and all sorts, so we just got to be careful. <laughs> traction control's kicking in, don't know how to turn it off. This thing, you kind of predict that it's going to give you torque speed. So let's short ratios going through here. Third, otherwise we're just going to get, get a bit of skid going in there. Nice. Yeah, the surface has not got much grip. That was fun. That was uh, that was. It's it is like being in a go kart for the road, and I know I do say that a lot, that, like the M2 and other. Uh, minis I've tried but it's true that's kind of what I relate to I don't get to drive all the cars in the whole world and this thing to me feels like a go-kart <laughs> for the road let's take it a bit easy coming up here into second because we're going up the hill In grip we trust which is kind of relevant to this little go-kart I'm gonna be giving away a few of these t-shirts actually on my channel very soon they sent me a nice handful of them so yeah cheers guys love it love the t-shirt sorry I haven't really featured it up until now because you sent it to me a good couple of months ago but um, yeah all of my followers subscribers should check out these guys I'll put a link to their channel below because their content is hilarious but also very interesting.
GP2 or Mini GP2, Mini JCW GP2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too much of a Mini specialist. I really appreciate their cars. I love them. Even the basic Mini Cooper is fun. And then you go right up to something like this, which is just ridiculous. Um, it really is. What a car. I mean, I don't know if it's good enough to be a daily. Mark has an M2 as his daily. It's like, <laughs> you know, that's his comfortable car. His M2 is his practical car because it's got four seats. Right, so that was it. Yep, mini JCW GP2 review done and dusted. As I say, there'll be another one on my channel that we've gone through all the sort of upgrades, etc., the nerdy stuff with Mark. So um, you can check that out. You can check that out soon. Um, but yeah, thanks as always for subscribing and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and I will speak to you guys soon. Any comments or questions, stick them below and either myself or Mark will hopefully reply. Uh, any technical questions, but otherwise, that's it. Cheers guys, thanks a lot for watching.